All right, this is prime time stuff we got here. Carmelo Anthony returns to Madison Square Garden, where he spent a, a big chunk of his career playing uh, for the New York Knicks. Now he's OKC Thunder to trade for Ennis Cantor um, last offseason. Now, Christoph Porzingis was a late scratch for this game. Speaking of Melo, he drills the three. That's his first bucket in the OKC uniform. If you, in New York, if you want to know what the response was for him, it was mixed, mostly cheers, but there was some jeers, some, some boos as well, but mostly cheers, right? Um, and I think, uh, I don't know, man. Melo got paid a lot of money, and I just believe Carmelo Anthony was a tad bit overrated during his time in New York. Definitely wasn't the same guy that the Denver Nuggets got. Ooh, nice fake there and nice score there. Listen, Melo can still score the basketball, but all you Melo fans and all you Thunder fans out there that keep telling me that they're going to turn it around, please explain this to me and one Russell Westbrook. Please explain this to me. Um, if, they're going, if they got a top 15 player, which is what y'all tell me Paul George is as he knocks down that three, top 15 guy, right? If they got a top five guy in Russell Westbrook, he was the MVP of the league last year. And if Melo's top 20, top 30, as y'all tell me is, why are they fighting for the eighth spot in the playoffs? Th that just doesn't make sense to me. Just doesn't make sense to me. Russell Westbrook, nice drive. He is as talented as we've ever seen. Let's make that clear. No disrespect to Russell Westbrook. But these, th yo, y'all got to do the numbers. Look at players' careers after they leave Westbrook. Reggie Jackson had a lot of success individually. And I'll give you Reggie Jackson is if it's just because him and Russ played the same position. Look at James Harden. He's been flourishing ever since he left Westbrook. Kevin Durant's a champion. Victor Oladipo's going to be an all-star. I, I, Y'all just got to make sense out of that for me. When you leave Westbrook, it seems like your career only heights, never declines. I think it's the, the fact that these teams go other players or go they go to other teams and though they might play not play with a guy as talented as Westbrook, they play in systems and a coaching staff that is willing to actually stand up to Westbrook. His banker for three. Bang! The New York Knicks down three. Uh, Paul George will dribble that one out as we end the quarter. We're in the second quarter now. Nice fake. Ooh, down the lane for two. It's good. Mind you, the Knicks do not have Kristaps Porzingis. I said that earlier, but I just want to get you let you guys remember that. Now, nice pass there. Download a grant for two. With the, let me ask you guys this: If the Knicks last season, right, with Melo, with Melo, were playing the Thunder, and it was Russ and Paul George, do you believe they'll be in this game? I tend to believe they wouldn't be in this game. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. We're just talking about Carmelo Anthony's worth right now. Westbrook crossover. Beasley out the mellow mellow for three. It's good. Mellow struggled in the second half. As a matter of fact, he did not score in the second half. He had 12 in the first half. He'll finish the game with 12 points, five for 18 from the field. Terrible shoot tonight. Russell Westbrook drills that too, but, but uh, his shooting was actually wasn't that bad tonight. Uh, he, Michael Beasley follows up with a two there. Uh, Russ was nine for 18, 25 points and PG was six for 14 with 18 points. There's a couple more Melos, too. Like I said, he was shut out in the second half, I believe. Um, that's not good. That's not going to get it done. Beasley, other end. Nice dish to Courtney Lee for three. So Beasley kind of took over and poor Zinkas' his role as the post-up playmaker uh, this game. Look at Beasley requiring some attention. Oh, nice. You know, By the way, you know Cantor won at this game. He's one of those loyal guys. Nice three from Courtney Lee. We got a little lag there. I got to fix that. Paul George. We're in the third now for three. Nice crossover here. Paul George down the lane. Hey, he got a little rhythm going in the third. Knicks only up two. Trying to increase the lead is Lance Thomas. He's open for three. He drills the three. 55-50. Knicks lead. Westbrook. Post. That he's just too good. 
He's a phenomenal talent. Not taking anything about, away from Westbrook. He's just for himself. That's all. PG down the lane. for Chew rolls it in. Good for him. PG crossover. Ooh, spin move. Ooh, Bonds. Roberson. Russ for two. Drills it. 63-60. Cancer for two. Other end now. We got a good game here. 65-60. Russ. Corner. Patrick Patterson for three. Beasley. Oh, nice spin. Oh, yes. Remember, Michael Beasley's a guy that I played against in basketball, and uh, it's not fun. Oh, Russell Westbrook down the lane. He explodes at the rim. Garden went crazy for that one. By the way, I went against Michael Beasley in basketball. Uh, it was like a five-on-five five setting. I had no idea he was walking into the gym. Let's just say I switched off of Michael Beasley. I had no chance. Michael Beasley said he's better than Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. You take that with a grain of salt. Patrick Patterson for three. Let's rock and roll. 75-68. We're in the, still in late in the third. Felton for three. Thunder pushing. It's a four-point game. Beasley, other end. Yo, Beasley with a lot of nice dishes. How many assists he had? Four assists. Beasley had 30 points, five rebounds, and 44 assists. I mean, he really played a, a big role. Nice jam there. O'Quinn with the partial block. Didn't get enough. Still goes through. Beasley, other end. Now, I mean, he was just scorching hot. 11 for 18 from the field. We're in the fourth now. Beasley on the block again. Nice dish to O'Quinn. Look at Beasley making plays. If only he could do this on a consistent night-to-night -night basis. Who knows how good he could be. Felton, that was a really good pass to Paul. George, who drills a three. Thunder never went away. You, you had to believe the Thunder were going to make a run at this thing at some point because they stayed close. Every time the Knicks needed to make a shot, they did. McDermott for three. Baker, now driving. Can't find anything. There's more McDermott. He's open for three. It's a double-digit game. Ten Under 10 to go. Now under 9 to go. It's Felton. Swing that thing around. Get it back to Felton. He's open for three. By the way, Raymond Felton playing some really good basketball off that OKC Thunder big. He was bench. He was pivotal in their win against Philly the other night. Russ for two plus the foul. It's time for the Thunder to make their run. It's an eight-point game. You need stops. You need stops. You need stops. With under seven to go. You're not going to get it here because Jerry Jack is going to drill the tough two. All right, I'm in that mode, y'all. It's six minutes to go. Now, Jared Jack over to Beasley, over to Michael uh, McDermott, excuse me, for three. Double digit lead again. The Thunder needs stops. You got to call a timeout there. That's not going to help your cause. Jerry and Grant down the lane at O'Quinn. 11 point game. But again, at some point, you're going to have to get stopped. It's a 12 point game. Russ out to Patrick Patterson. Well, he had a, him a heck of a night. How many threes did he have? Four threes on the night. Now, nine point game. Russ to PG. Bang! It's a six point game. It's a six point game. More Russ. It's stolen. That might be the big play of the game. Momentum swinger now back up to eight. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. The New York Knicks are going to spoil Carmelo Anthony's return. With this win without their best player by far, Christoph Porzingis, as Michael Beasley lights him up for 30, he went at Melo in this game too. And the finishing touches on this one are going to be by Courtney Lee. Knicks beat the Thunder. Oh, man, they just gave up down the stretch, huh? Oh, wow. Bad loss for the Thunder. Wow. This is embarrassing. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yo!